Hello, welcome back to Inside Myanmar Channel. I'm Hua TV. Hello, welcome back to Inside Myanmar Channel. I'm Hua TV. So today in this video, I'm going to show you what public park in Yangon looks like, and we will also go visit to Sulay Pagoda after. So the park that we'll be visiting today is called Mahabandula Park, which is right across the street. The park is located in the downtown area of Yango and is surrounded by some of the important buildings in the area such as the High Court, the Yango City Hall and most important of all, Sule Baguda. So let's go to the park! So I'm currently at Mahabandula Park which is a famous hot spot for young couples. The park was founded in 1867 and it was named as Fitch Square in honor of Chief Commissioner of British Burma, Albert Fitch. But after 1935, the name was changed into Mahabandula Park, which was named after General Mahabandula who fought against the British in the war from 1824 to 1826. In 1948, the independent monument, um, an obelisk in commemoration of Myanmar independence from British, was installed at the center of the park. So before this, there used to be the statue of Queen Victoria, but it was brought back to England after um, Myanmar independence. And the architect of the monument is um, Sidhu Udin, who is the same architect for Yangon City Hall. Um, and here you can see the lions guarding the uh, monument. The park is usually packed with young couples and families in summer or in the winter, but today you won't see many people because it's raining outside. And in here, you will also see various kinds of buses because Sule Bus Station is an interchange for most of the buses. which is right across the Mahabandula Park. So Sule Pagoda is located in the center of Yago, um, which is at the intersection of two busy roads, Mahabandula Road and Sule Pagoda Road. So you can reach to the pagoda through um, four gateways. And there are also um, overhead bridges like that, two overhead bridges, which directly go to the temple ground of the pagoda. Pagoda is also a house to many little shops like these, um, chemistry and astrology and um, wet shops. According to Bagoda's history, the Sule Bagoda was built um, during the lifetime of Gautama Bodha, which was 2,500 years ago. Um, it was much smaller at that time, but um, it was renovated and enlarged um, several times by the later kings. And Sule Bagoda was named after the name of the spirit, who, um, who is called Sule Retta, the Sule spirit.
The pagoda measures um, 44 meters high and it's an octagonal shape which continues all the way up to the spire. And on top of the pagoda is a multi-tire ornamental um, element which is shaped as an umbrella. And the pagoda reached its height um, when it was renovated in the 15th century. There are several depictions of Hinda bird, um, like this, um, which is the symbol of Bago. So you can find um, Hinda bird on the temple ground. Um, so here, as you can see, this Hinda bird carries a shrine on its back, um, hangs down the steel cable, and there is also another one over there. This is it for today's video and I hope you like this video of me showing you around the downtown area of Yango. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to our channel for more and more videos. So bye bye!